Welcome to my bake escape. This week I'm sharing my favorite recipe for delicious snickerdoodle cookies. This was actually the first cookie recipe I ever learned how to make and they are one of my favorites. These cookies turn out super soft and tender with the perfect amount of cinnamon and sugar. For the full recipe, visit mybakeescape.com. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Pinterest at mybakeescape. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, be sure to do that. I appreciate your support. For this recipe, you will need unsalted butter, granulated sugar, brown sugar, two large eggs, all-purpose flour, cream of tartar, vanilla extract, baking soda, and salt. For the topping, which we'll use later, you will also need granulated sugar and ground cinnamon. So I'm gonna set those to the side. I always start my cookie recipes, actually I start most recipes by combining the dry ingredients. So the dry ingredients for this recipe are the all-purpose flour, cream of tartar, baking soda, and salt. So in a medium-sized bowl, I have the all-purpose flour, and to the flour, I add in the cream of tartar, and cream of tartar is really important for snickerdoodles because it gives that chewy, tender texture to the cookie. Next, I add in the baking soda, followed by the salt. And using a fork or a whisk, you can just combine these ingredients together. Set that aside, and now it's time to work on the wet ingredients. So for the wet ingredients, we're gonna start by creaming the butter. So this butter is not quite room temperature. It still has a little bit of a chill to it. So it's gonna take me a little bit longer to cream this together, but that's okay. What I also did was I submerged the bowl in some warm water for a few seconds, just the outside of the bowl, and that helps soften the butter so that I can cream it um, with the sugars. So to a large bowl, add the two sticks, which is one cup of unsalted butter. And then to the butter, I also added the granulated sugar, followed by the brown sugar. Now the brown sugar also helps make these snickerdoodles nice and tender and chewy. There's molasses in that brown sugar. So it, I feel like having both granulated sugar and brown sugar make the snickerdoodle super soft and chewy. So cream the sugars and the butter together for about three to four minutes until they are light and fluffy. The next step is to add the eggs. I always like to crack the eggs into a separate dish. This just helps ensure that if any of the shell get into the eggs, I can pretty easily fish it out. Once it's in that batter, it's a lot harder to find shells. Once the eggs have been mixed in, I add the vanilla extract. Mix that in, and now we're ready to add the dry mixture. So I like to do this in two batches. So add about half of the flour mixture, mix it until you see that the flour has been absorbed, and then add the rest and mix just until all of that flour has been absorbed. You don't wanna over mix this dough. Now that all of the flour has been mixed in, I use a spatula to just kind of clean the sides of the bowl, make sure that all of the dough is pushed down and all of the flour that could settle at the bottom is mixed in. This is what the dough looks like. So now this needs to chill in the refrigerator for at least an hour and up to three days. So I cover it with some plastic wrap and place it in the refrigerator to chill. Mm -hmm. 
The dough has chilled in the refrigerator for about an hour, so I preheat my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit while I scoop out the balls of dough. I like to use an ice cream scoop. I'm using a medium sized ice cream scoop for these cookies and I like to use an ice cream scoop because it ensures that the cookies are all roughly the same size which means that they will bake evenly in the oven. So I scoop out each cookie and for this small cookie sheet, I'm gonna make five cookies. These will spread in the oven, so I wanna make sure that they aren't too crammed together. So I have five of the cookie dough balls scooped out. And I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the cinnamon sugar topping. So to a small bowl, I add granulated sugar followed by ground cinnamon and using a small whisk, I mix these together. Next, I grab each ball of dough and I gently roll them in my hands. I just want to make sure that they are all around the same shape, so a nice even round ball of dough. Then I place that in the cinnamon sugar and gently roll it around into the cinnamon sugar until the entire dough ball is covered. These are going to bake for about 10 to 12 minutes depending on the size of the cookie. Once they are nice and golden brown around the edges, you won't be able to tell right away, but you can see that they have set and they are baked through. You're gonna go ahead and remove them from the oven and let them sit on the cookie sheet for about three to five minutes. As you can see, even though I spread these apart, they did end up touching a little bit. That's not a big deal. That's not gonna stress me out. I use a spatula to gently separate the cookies that are touching, and then I like to use a large round cookie cutter to gently roll around the cookie and kind of helping it go back into that round shape. But even if the cookies aren't completely round, they are still delicious, they still look really good, and it's not gonna matter. But I just wanted to show you that, even though I tried to keep enough space between them, they did spread pretty far out and end up touching each other, and that's okay. Now that the cookies have sat on the tray for about three to five minutes, I go ahead and transfer the cookies to a cooling rack so that they can cool completely. Let these cool for about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can enjoy them. Once these cooled down, I definitely made sure to taste them and they are absolutely delicious. I know I say that about a lot of my recipes, but seriously, snickerdoodles are very special to me. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, they are the first cookie I learned how to make when I was young and this recipe is definitely a keeper. They are buttery, golden brown, lightly toasted on the edges, but on the inside they are super tender and soft and chewy. I think that a little bit extra bit of cream of tartar and the molasses in the brown sugar really make these a beautiful, delicious, chewy, tender cookie that have that perfect cinnamon sugar flavor. 
you are going to enjoy these. I just know you are. If you make this recipe, please let me know in the comments what you thought. I love to hear from you. And also tell me what's your favorite cookie to make. And maybe I will make them soon on this channel. You can store these cookies in an airtight container on the counter for about five days. You can also freeze the dough ahead of time and then bake them as you need them. For the full recipe, visit mybakeescape.com. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching and have a sweet day.